And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hey YouTube, this is Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and I have the new Ushan UV9D. Um, what I like about the Ushan radios is when they come out with a new model, there's something different about it. Like the Bofungs would always come out with a UV5RA and a UV5RE, UV5RX, and they were all the same thing. The UV9D is totally different than the UV8D. It looks similar, has the color display on it, although it has an extended 7-band receive in here, uh, including AM receive for aircraft 108 to 136 on AM and all the way up to 985 FM uh, megahertz. So, it, including FM radio, it covers a lot of different frequencies now. Uh, but what I like about it is the full duplex mode, meaning I can transmit on VHF on band A and receive at the same time while I'm transmitting on, UF, on UHF on VFOB. Great for satellite work, that'll be in future videos. But my ICOM, D-Star, and my Yaesu Fusion handhelds don't even have full duplex, so this is a great satellite uh, capable radio. Let me... Uh, <clears throat> open this up. We'll show you a few things. Look how it looks, how it works. And also, before I go through that, uh, I did get the Ushan microphone, the authentic Ushan microphone that has the Bofung speaker mic on it. And uh, this, your Bofung, Bofung speaker mic should work on this, as well as the Bofung UV5R programming cable should work with this with uh, programming software as well. And that'll be a video, a second video I make on the software. This radio comes from RadioDiddy.com, R-A-D-I-O-D-D-I-T-Y.com. The link is down below in the description. And uh, so let's get through it here. The uh, manual, you want to read the manual. It shows you a lot of the functions and features that are in the radio. Uh, and this radio does come with two antennas. And the reason being is the little antenna is meant primarily for VHF, UHF amateur operation. The longer antenna is made for the reception of AM aircraft and uh, reception all the way up to 985 megahertz. So uh, your gain shouldn't be any better with the longer antenna. This is primarily meant for the uh, extended receive. It will transmit on VHF and UHF, but uh, I have had better reports on the little antenna. <clears throat> The belt clip, the charging base, the charging wall adapter, same thing as all the other uh, handhelds. Underneath it comes with the uh, cigarette lighter adapter, so that, that'll plug into the charging base so you can charge the radio on the go. We're going to uh, open up the radio here real quick with the little antenna and we'll show you some of the features. And the word multi is plastered on the front of the box several times and let me explain a couple of the multi features on here. Um, <clears throat> the battery is a 2000 milliamp lithium ion battery that should get you, it says in the manual, 8 hours runtime. Okay, um, haven't tested that, but it should last you all day on one charge. Again, it looks like the UV8D, full uh, DTMF keypad in the front, uh, direct entry for frequencies in here, um, as well as DTMF codes. On the side, there's a PTT button, but there's three other programmable buttons on the left. And these you can program to do a lot of different features. I can program the top one for power levels. The radio is 5 watts on high, 2 watts on medium, and 1 watt on low. Or I could program this one for FM radio and this one for the LED light on the top. Uh, or a, a combination of different things you can do with these buttons. Um, so we'll turn this on. Mode. And you'll notice the readout, the voice readout, the English re uh, readout voice is similar to the Bofungs. You can have that in Chinese or you can turn it off. If I turn off the light here, maybe you can see this is the color screen, green battery indicator, blue on the uh, display, and then if you're out of band uh, transmitting, it'll turn red, uh, but better than a regular uh, gray screen, you know. Uh, so, the word multi. <clears throat> First, I could receive simultaneously on both different VFOs. I can receive VHF on VFOA, UHF on VFOB at the same time. Two repeaters talking, I can receive them both at the, at the same time. I can also uh, scan both individual VFOA and VFOB at the same time. But with the full duplex, like I said, I can transmit on VHF... Uh, Simplex here, 146520, and I'll show you this. 
I can transmit and then I can receive let me turn this down here transmit on VHF receive on UHF on the bottom at the same time okay and that's perfect for uh, satellite operation because when you're transmitting VHF uplink you want to hear yourself on the downlink for UHF so that's a great feature uh, <clears throat> As well as having both of these going, right now I can push the button on the side here and the FM radio starts on the top. Now the FM radio will scan till it finds a frequency and then it'll play the FM radio and I still have my dual receive on both VFOA and VFOB. Okay? So if somebody keys in on VFOA or VFOB, I can hear that. It'll mute the FM receiver for a second until they're done talking. But my... Uh, my ICOM D-Star radio, if I'm in broadcast mode, I can't hear uh, anybody on one of my pre-programmed memories. So very cool that I can have several different things monitoring at one time. And a lot of radios will have dual receive and dual watch and all that, but I like the full duplex. That's very cool. Um, the menu features it may be a little different than a Bofeng, but really all these radios have the same features. Step size, wide or narrow, transmit power, shift direction, Vox for voice operated transmit. You know, all these features may be in a different arrangement, but they're the same in all the radios. So uh, in the field, I could actually set my CTCSS tone of the repeater. I could set my uh, shift direction. Uh, okay, and then I can set my my repeater frequency, and I can key up the repeater. I don't have to have programming software, but it makes it a lot easier to be able to program those on the computer. Okay, so that'll be part two on the video. I'll make the next video about programming those. But overall, um, feels good in the hand. Uh, in comparison to size, here's my TYT380, which is coming up next on video. Um, my FT1D, which is a little bigger than both of those. Um, and my uh, ICOM D-Star. So it's not overwhelmingly big compared to the other ones. About the same size as the TYT. All right. Um, and uh, I like the AM receive and the full duplex. So in the future, we'll have some videos on the uh, satellite operation, using this for satellite and, uh, and how to work satellites. As well as uh, the next video come up, we'll be programming, and then I'll show you some other uh, videos. Stay subscribed to the channel. Like us on Facebook.com slash Ham Radio Concepts. And uh, thumbs up for all the videos. Thanks for watching. And 7-3 from KJ4YZI. This has been another exciting amateur radio video presented by Ham Radio Concepts. Subscribe today on YouTube. Search Ham Radio Concepts, all one word.